everybody and welcome back. The weather's taken a bit of a turn. It's time of year, I suppose. But the rain is now pelting down in between bright sunshine. So today, as I've had quite a bit of time this week off at the workshop dealing with Billy's Range Rover and getting that all up and moving, now it's bad weather, really need to do something here. You may all remember this, the drawing room, and obviously getting these panels done, and then of course the floor. So what I want to do is I want to do the floor in the library. I want to start pulling all of the rooms together. And of course this is, of course the library is just a bit of a fun room really, uh, and it's a walkthrough. The old kitchen is in there, that's now a gym and the main entrance and staircase is over there. So you do tend to just walk through this room. And I don't know how well you can see, but there's the floor in that room. Well, there you go, you can really see the difference because this hasn't been done. And I want to get it done now. Just do that. Hoovered, rug moved. What I'm gonna do is white spirit and linseed oil. This is what I use on all of the floors. So, little 50 50 mix, give or take. This goes quite far. But it'll be pretty damn quick on this floor. Because ah, just how dry it is. And it's always a good use for an old sock, isn't there? appreciate that it is still soaking into the wood but that's a fair old difference isn't it even allowing for the fluid to dry let's get finish it off let's see what that's like when it dries it's looking good right now. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's obviously, it'll take two or three coats. You can see where it's soaking in very patchily. You've got to keep on doing this, let the wood all soak it in everywhere. And then you sort of mop off the excess that the wood won't soak in. Let me get a deep shine everywhere. But this is gonna look great. Should we go for one little man? Come on then. Uh, excuse me. Let's go and check on everything. What's all of that then, Lightning? Has that just come off you, isn't it? All of that's just come off you. Hairy little monkey, aren't you? So if anyone wonders how much hair 
dogs like this produce. At the moment, that's every two days as he's blowing his undercoats. Come on, messy pup. Wind's picking up a bit now. Again, time of year, but the sun's out. Dog's been for a wander. He's been brushed out there where the little animals can take his hair to make nests for the winter. Let's check out what that first coat looks like. Now it should have soaked into the wood. Look at that. I mean, first coat, so it is going to be patchy. You can see sections where it's visibly different because the wood has, it soaks up in different ways. Depends on how much light you get, but look. Oh, the difference. The difference. And again, you can see the lines. That's fine. Uh, and interestingly, actually, you can see here, there's actually in this doorway, because that gets hardly any light, the wood's really good there. So you can see that darkness and you can actually see a patch where it's almost it's still wet because the wood isn't soaking the light because it doesn't need it. So eventually what will happen is all of the floor will be like that, where there's a little wet patch and that gets mopped off and then it should be fairly even. But look at that for the difference. It's a good start and I can't wait for it to really look the same so we can pull these rooms together down here so it all feels like one again, not separate rooms because everything is just in a different way. Then really I need to work on that pool table because that's a bit rough. But baby steps, this floor is looking good. So it is a bit slow progress here at the moment. It's that time of year where start packing up to be honest you start getting everything outside away and all those jobs outside done stuff put away stuff cut back grass cut ready for when the bad weather comes and it's all about inside the other thing is of course i have been working on billy's range rover on the other channel and that's been helping to clear my mind and reignite some motivation for lots of things sometimes a a change is as good as a break as they say and uh, there has been a lot of planning for a secret <laughs> something that's coming up that's a bit secret uh, it, it's an interesting thing that we could, we've all got to go and do so uh, there's been a lot of that as well which has taken a bit of time so uh, apologies that there hasn't been huge amounts of video and not like, sort of a huge huge work but I am looking forward to getting back into it and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time Bye now.